Hey guys, Shukesh here. Today in this video, I will be talking about iOS 14 battery saving tips and tricks. After upgrading to this new iOS, the battery performance have been quite good actually, but I have found some really interesting settings that you can tweak and get maybe 15 to 20 percent more battery performance. So let's get started. Now as you know home screen widget is the new addition to iOS 14 but install only the ones that you really require uh, you can remove the unused ones from the home panel because they are continuously draining your battery as they are gathering information from the respective apps all the time though they are not interactive unlike Android widgets they are informative showing information from the apps so all these widgets are always active refreshing using your data so draining your battery and most importantly the way the widget is also accessing your location some of the widgets are also showing animations so another way to drain your battery so remove the widgets from the home screen that you are not using that much also you can remove the widgets from the left most home panel which we had on iOS 13 just tap the edit icon at the bottom and then remove. Next open the settings menu and look for the battery settings. Here under battery health there is an option I think you should always keep on. It's optimized battery charging that is uh, to reduce battery aging. iPhone learns from your daily charging routine and it can wait uh, to finish charging past 80% until you use. So to increase battery longevity this is something that helps. Now here on the music player there is a new feature the cover art will animate and will also show more information from the web that is it will be continuously using your data draining batteries so what you can do is go to the settings menu open the music settings there you have motion so you can turn it off if you want a little bit more battery when you are listening to music in fact, you can reduce the motion of the whole iOS 14 interface which is highly graphics intensive with motions and animations. So if you turn on reduce motion, the GPU will consume less battery and also the parallax effect of the icons will be turned off. So now the transition effects look like this. Of course there will be no effect on the speed of the interface the app opening time in fact you can also prefer crossfade transition which also looks cool but better keep it off and get better battery life on some of the iPhones there is an additional option under the motion settings which is to limit the maximum refresh rate to 60 Hz. The upcoming iPhone 12 will get a higher refresh rate display so this will definitely help you get a much better battery life maybe up to 20% more depending on what apps you use. A new addition to iOS 14 is the dark mode wallpaper that is if you switch to dark mode the wallpaper changes accordingly. If you are an iPhone 10, 10s, iPhone 11 or iPhone 12 user then the dark mode will help you get more battery life because of the OLED display. The black part has no LED active here on the normal mode as you can see the whole screen is lit in a white bright color and also the background has changed so I do suggest you to switch to dark mode which also looks cool and at night it's much more reader friendly from display settings you can make it automatic uh, dark mode at night now there is a very simple thing that most of the people forget to turn on that is auto brightness which is a must for better battery life so go to the battery settings and if it's not already on on your iPhone you will see a tip so click here and here at the bottom you will find the option auto brightness helps you get better sunlight visibility with brighter screen and also at night dimmer display for better reading now there is another option reduce white point if it's okay with you you can also try this so the white point will be reduced just like that if you prefer the light display mode then a reduce white point might help 
another basic but very important thing is to set the auto lock to minimum at least one minute sometimes we forget to turn off the display or may fall asleep so this is something that can help now let me show you the dark mode wallpapers these are the preloaded ones most of these are very beautiful you get light mode and the dark mode previews now there is a very interesting option here dark appearance dims the wallpaper that is not only just the apps and settings but also the wallpaper will be emitting less light and this makes sense i mean at night in the dark you are using the phone in the dark mode but the brightness of the wallpaper may dazzle you for a while so such a great thinking by apple it's somewhat like auto brightness but instead of whole display it will dim only the wallpaper depending on your ambient lighting situation that is if you are outdoor this won't be an issue because the wallpaper will be brighter now in the display settings there is another option you should keep off that is raise to wake of course raise to wake helps in face id unlock but you can simply tap on the display to turn it on and trigger the face id camera and also check your notifications now after display let's talk about microphone and sound hey siri so most of us use hey siri activation of the siri voice assistant but it's always listening to us through the microphone so draining battery uh, there are other ways to get siri like tapping and holding the side button so from the siri settings you can turn off hey siri activation and keep side button long press activation on one of the most new interesting features of iOS 14 is the sound recognition. Now here you can look for different type of sirens or alarms like smoke or fire alarm. You can also get notified if your baby is crying, if somebody rang the doorbell, if the water is running. It's really cool but if you are not using this feature then definitely turn it off because it's always using your microphone and and, uh, using the battery power so keep it off from the toggle or you can find these settings in the accessibility settings of your phone you can achieve a little bit more battery backup from these settings under sounds and haptics I think you can keep off vibrate on ring unless you are in a very crowded area or if you ride a bike there is too much noise otherwise it's not necessary and lastly there is this system haptics I mean when you are tapping any settings or typing on the keyboard you really don't need haptic feedback unless you really like it it keeps the haptic engine always busy and draining a little bit battery so after display and microphone let's talk about apps uh, go to the general settings then background app refresh so uh, if you don't want your apps to be refreshed in the background that is eating up your battery you can keep it off I always keep it off I mean whenever I launch these apps they refresh and it's enough for me if you really want to keep it on then you can also choose which apps you want to be refreshed in the background this is something very important you should check on your iOS 14 device. We install so many apps which we barely use but necessary. Sometimes you don't want to uninstall them so what you can do is you can offload those apps which will also get you more storage on your iPhone. You can do it manually from the apps settings but also there is an automatic option in the uh, app store settings. So here at the bottom you get this option offload unused apps so it will keep track of your uses of the app and offload unused apps and if you tap those apps that will be still showing on the home screen the apps will be reinstalled and it will also keep your data like your documents login information so no need to log in or set up as a new application next visit the notification settings turn off notifications from the apps you don't seem necessary only your mail or social media apps can be allowed for notifications and uh, if you don't do this the apps that you are not using will be pushing notifications and eating up battery in the background 
Next, one of the most important things to do is to check your location settings. So visit your privacy settings then location services. If you wish you can keep it completely off which will definitely boost the battery backup. You can also turn off find my iPhone and share my location with my friends and family. But for security reasons and uh, to use services from apps if you cannot completely turn off the location services you can check individual apps and set your preference to never or while using the apps some of the apps are always using your location data when you add widgets so the weather widget is always accessing your location and also your data draining battery in the background so better keep it while using the app if you want to check the weather just open the app or open the widget and from here, you can check different system services accessing your location data with three different kind of uh, arrows. You can pause here and read about it. Now App Clips is a new iOS 14 feature which basically shows a card whenever you visit certain places like you have entered a shopping mall or maybe a parking space, a rental service, then App Clip will show up on screen just by scanning a tag on the store. And this service is always accessing your location to make sure you are at the right place. So if you really don't use this feature or if your place does not support this kind of new feature then better keep it off. Now you can keep this feature on that allows apps and web pages uh, to ask for permission. If you think it's not necessary then you can click on don't allow. Another important thing I want to show you here in the App Store settings a better keep automatic downloads of specially for mobile data which eats up more battery. You can keep apps or apps updates off. If you need to update an app you can visit the App Store and do it manually. And of course the last resort is to switch on the low power mode if you are low on battery. Uh, this will limit the CPU and GPU performance and also disable dynamic wallpaper, perspective, zoom, parallax effect etc motion features. Though in low power mode the phone works just perfectly but I don't suggest you to keep it on all the time to enhance your phone's longevity. From the battery settings you can check which applications are eating up how much battery on screen as well as in the background so you can limit the background activity of those apps you seem not that much necessary for you. Another important tip is if you are going on a trip to a remote place where the network connectivity is very poor or maybe it's not there then better switch to airplane mode because the phone will be looking for network with maximum power draining much more battery and also whenever possible turn off the bluetooth on your iphone or ipad that's all in this battery saving tips and tricks on iOS 14 which also applies to the upcoming iPhone 12. I hope that it was useful. Check the description for the iOS 14 tips and tricks. You will love it. This is Shukesh signing off.